Welcome back Sideways fam. I have a super sick video for you today. Off topic has kind of nothing to do with the shop. It's another one of what's in my garage part two. So I went ahead and just got my car registered. I've been sitting down on non-op for the last probably five or six years. I've owned this vehicle actually since about, damn, 2008. So it was one of my original JDM cars. Uh, I do have drift videos of me sliding this car online. I mean, this car has been, been just a, a huge part of me, huge part of me growing as a Toyota guy, just, just everything. Just, I love this car. So in a few seconds right now, beyond just kind of leave, leaving you guys waiting or whatever, uh, I'm going to go ahead and reveal it to you. Uh, just know this car is not for sale. This car is not going anywhere. Uh, I mean, I brought it out of the garage just to show you guys because I think it's something that everybody's really, really not going to expect me to own and even know that I own. If you're one of my OG customers, you know I've had this car forever. Um, so stay with it right now and let's get it. All right, guys. So I hope you're ready for this. We're going to walk out the front door right now and see what's going on. Oh, look at that. Look at this. So this is my 1985 Toyota Corolla GTS Coupe. I'm a huge fan of coupes, not a big fan of hatchbacks. Uh, if you look at any of the old JDM drift games, you know, they were mostly all coupes. My car is pretty much what a D1 Grand Prix car would look like. Uh, the rims are Enki AMEs. They are 15 inch by nine and a half with a negative 20 offset in the front a uh, 15 by 10 in the rear with about a negative 50, I believe, offset. I have the Solex locks that you'll see, super old school Cyrus Performance stickers that are all chromed out from back in the day. I got the Nardi deep corn steering wheel. I actually uh, dry iced the whole entire car because this actually used to be a real race car of mine. All the gauges work, everything's functional in the car. I painted the whole entire floor and look at these. These are Toda Racing Edition Recaros that are super, super, super rare. I think they only made 200 of these total, like ever, ever, ever. Um, and then just to kind of top it all off, guys, I even had the rear seats upholstered. Let me put the seat forward right now so I can actually show you. I even had the rear seats upholstered, guys, to match the front, you know, by one of my custom homies that did them for me back in the day. Uh, so much leg room in this thing, you guys. Just like, you could sit four people in here. It's just one of those cars that you just never get to see. So, I mean, I even have the rear uh, paneling deletes. I mean, I had pretty decent paneling in this car. I just went ahead and changed it because I just like the race car look. I mean, look at that, dude. Oh my God. So fucking sick, dude. And then the back, I got my old little team crew I used to be part of and stuff. And my homie Jimmy up, he used to own this company. that used to sell all this, uh, my homie Mike used to sell all this, um, merch that was just super super dope i mean it's, so let's, let's kind of go over the rear and kind of show you guys what's up i think my muffler isn't bolted in all the way but anyways um this is a vertex rear bumper with uh cb y fender flares you can only find these in japan actually I, I paid this company down here with this really really og corolla guy that had them they're vertex side skirts uh and i have a j blood front bumper that's a little scuffed up by the way um i did the Chireno front because i did leave it pop-ups originally this car was going to be going 11 um front end but i just couldn't afford it back then it was just too much money and uh just this car is just so beautiful one of my favorite favorite cars that i own i would never 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 sell this car and i mean just i mean obviously you can kind of see why you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and do a few quick clips of the car with some uh audio behind it just to kind of get you guys a little pumped up and we're gonna go, go give her a wash
Well, would you look at that? Black top 20 valve, initial D special in here, and it is clean, clean, clean. I got this car ready for a whole bunch of events that we used to do back in the day for Speed Hunters, for Slam Society, for all the old Formula D events that, that we would go to for both the vehicle and everything else too. So it is very clean. There's not much you can complain about. You can pretty much eat off of this car. But getting into 4AGE, there are a few versions of these engines. There is a 16 valve version and a 20 valve version. There's multiple versions of the 16 valve version. There's a blue top that would come in this car because it is a GTS uh, car and uh, non GTS A86s will have an SR5, which nobody really wants because there's no disc brakes. There are um, a uh, 1.6, I believe, carbureted, really shitty engine called a 4AC. And uh, I mean, everybody wants a GTS as well because it has a fuel pump in the gas tank. And the 4AC SR5 is a carbureted vehicle with a basically carbureted fuel pump you guys so it doesn't have any electronics in the rear you have to run an inline fuel pump and do or do some crazy tank conversion or anything like that but getting into 20 valves this is, is the initial d engine i mean it is a class a race engine from japan i mean they are front wheel drive engines so we ha we used to do this swap you guys probably just as much as we do jay-z's like my whole step into toyota uh and getting even to having supers guys with building these cars um you know we used to be like the biggest 4a ge and 20 valve supplier and swapping people here on this side of california i think i think i would like literally guys i would literally do probably six swaps a month for every single different local state around here and everything so i've done a lot of these um if you if, if anybody else has seen my video on youtube about uh this original setup yeah you guys it was really fucking ugly and after that video hit and everybody else was talking crap about the copper piping and the old you know drift style setup where the water necks and everything came out the back over here it had to run all the way around the header i was on some obx shitty header and a bunch of other crazy stuff this is going to be my revamp video for you guys to just know know you guys immediately after that about a year later i started making my own water line kits so there's no longer any janky stuff i started making my own headers we helped design these headers and now they're sold by one of our manufacturers. Um, this is a prototype, me and only three of my workers uh, that got a set of these like this. Yes, it is very freaking close to the brake master cylinder. And I mean, because it was a prototype, that's just gonna be how it is. No, it does not boil my brake fluid. No, I have not had any problems, yada, 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 yada. So anyways, guys, I hope you like the engine bay. We're gonna go ahead and do some driving. I will tell you one thing, if you have never heard 20 valve, these engines rev to about 9K factory. Um, and uh, these ITBs, you guys, they just scream. It's just one of those noises that you just, you, you really can't explain to anybody what uh, what it sounds like. ITBs just have their own sound. And you know, it's just with the variable valve timing in this thing too, it's just got a sound like no other engine. So we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of driving in this car. Um, and then tomorrow we'll probably even do a video at Cars and Coffee and kind of debut the car there again, see what people think about it. I'm gonna clean everything up tonight. We're gonna wash and wax it and get it all good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shoot the video and uh, we'll finish it up and get another one going for tomorrow. All right, guys so it is friday afternoon and uh, i just finished showing you my corolla we're gonna go ahead and go for a drive right now my buddy john just pulled up with his a86 another coupe uh 85 gts with a black top 20 valve that i swapped i think his is quite a bit cleaner than mine even though mine's painted up and a little bit different but uh yeah we're gonna go have some fun right now we're gonna go drive through silverado canyon uh just get some cool shots some blow by some curl noises there's not very many of these cars around anymore his is like super 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 clean for what it is majority of the ones that i see 
uh, as of now are always crashed or destroyed or rusted or shit box. And he's like one of my main customers that drives his every single day, uses it every single day with like zero problems at all. So uh, let's jump right into it, let's have some fun. guys so we are in the 86 and we are on our way my buddy john's right behind us in his 86 as you can see we're about to get right to the entrance of the mouth of the canyon so nothing crazy just going for a quick little cruise with the homies uh another 20 valve corolla behind me so let's just have a good day guys Oh great, looks like my Uber is here. All right, take me to the airport. <laughs> All right guys, so that was a lot of fun. Had a super, super awesome day today getting to play with one of the old toys that hasn't been out of the garage in honestly years. Um, so super fun driving. I definitely missed the car. So this is something about the ring of a 20 valve and like the 9K RPM bouncing off limiter and stuff. I mean, they're not by any means as fast as any of the Supras that we build or super style cars that I build on a day-to-day -day basis. But you know, for anybody that wants to know anything of a backstory about this whole entire thing of this car, and uh, shout out to Anthony who's here getting the car all cleaned up for tomorrow's video that will be up a couple of days after this video. But back to the story, as I was saying, uh, before I was into Supras, or I was actually always into Supras, but before I was building, you know, 800, 1,000, 500, 600 horsepower Supras, I was building these cars and I would not be where I am without kind of giving the love of these cars as I do to S chassis as well. Um, we used to do nothing but 20 valve swaps, like I said earlier in the video, you know, five or six uh, of these swaps per month. And uh, I mean, they're just, there's no other engine like them guys. So if you've never gotten a ride in a 4AG, 20 valve, silver top or black top or anything like that, it's just, you gotta try it out, you gotta check it out. There are a lot of crappy ones out there that I have not built, so I cannot say anything about those cars. If you don't have it done properly or know what you're doing, I've been building these cars for a long time and know all the tips and tricks, it'll never run the way that our cars run. Um, but mine rips. It sounds just like a UAO car or any of the old Suchia, you know, like JDM A86 videos. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more about my A86, uh, leave some comments and, you know, like and subscribe if this is your first time watching my channel. There's a lot of other cool cars as you can see in here around my shop of the crazy stuff that we build every single day supers everywhere and cool cars everywhere so uh appreciate you guys and until next time